Yo YouTube, this is Jordan Steel 88 coming at you with another video. And I'm here to talk about the Steelers got destroyed by the uh, Buffalo Bills 38-3. So let's get into this video. Man, I don't know where to begin. I don't know where to start. Excuse me. I don't know where to start, Steelers Nation. I do not know where to start. I'm going to tell you this. Man, it was mainly the defense. The defense just got toasted out there. It was Swiss cheese and burnt. Swiss cheese defense and burnt. They got outplayed out, th out there. They're, the defense was getting outplayed. The defense got outplayed. Man, they got outplayed, man. And I'll start with, uh, it might start it when um, that one receiver named Davis from the Buffalo Bills, he got down the field and burnt two, burnt Norwood and um, I believe it was Cameron Sutton, I believe. I think it was, or it was, I don't know, but hey, so, yeah, so there you have it, because he, he, he they scored their first touchdown on their first drive, well, the Steelers, they was trying to answer it, though, but only, but on that on, on one, one play on the special teams, that James Pierre muffed the um, kickoff, we really see that in the kickoff, kickoff, but they recovered it, and then we blocked the um, kick after, their, um, after they went three and, three and out and kicked the, um, Field goal and they got blocked though, so yeah. Um, but mainly the defense just could not stop anybody. They could not stop anybody at all. They could not even stop anybody at all. It's just man, defense got mainly outplayed. They got outplayed. They just got outplayed all game. I mean all game. It was Swiss cheese out there. I know, understandably, we don't have Watt in there. I know that I got to say this, but injuries are starting to take a toll on this defense. Injuries are starting to play a part in this defense. This is the injuries, man. It's, it's, it's creeping up on this defense. So, it's just that we have so many injured, guy, injured guys on defense, mainly our starters. Especially our corner from the um, secondary. Man, I tell you. And I straight tell you, Steel Nation, it was these injuries, man, are just insane on defense. Yeah, but I'm gonna start with the um, I'm gonna get um, Kenny Pickett. The offense, I mean, Kenny Pickett tried. He was trying. He did his best to move the ball downfield, which I like to see. At least we had a, had a punt in our first possession, but we just got a field goal off of, out of it, man. So, yeah, but he, he tried, but Kenny Pickett did try, though. He tried to get, get his offense going, get scored, get touchdowns, but it just wasn't happening in this game. just wasn't happening in this game. It was not even happening in this game. And I'm not afford to um, get into stats like this. I'm not afford to get into stats, but it's been five straight games this year that a wide receiver or a tight end has not catch a touchdown pass from the Steelers. Five games now. Five games. Man, even even if the Bills they didn't have a lot of key players on on their defensive side, except Von Miller. Wow. And then we still couldn't couldn't took advantage. Still couldn't. I mean, I mean the defense score did a pretty good job because. Because their defense score was better than our defense score, which I'm going to talk to any minute, talk about any minute. But man, it was a tough game overall for us, man. Tough game overall for for the Steelers, man. And I'm gonna um now the two coaches that I said in my videos on Instagram Live and Facebook that need a real check is Terrell Austin and definitely Matt Canada. Definitely met Canada. Terrell Austin, man, you got to start blitzing a little bit more. I know I've seen some blitzing, but you need to start blitzing a little bit more. You need to know how to mix your defenses up and start blitzing a little bit more. I'm not seeing a lot of blitzing out there. It's not like I'm, like I'm not seeing a lot of blitzing out there. And that's why Josh Allen was not sacked at all in this game. He did not get sacked not even once. He did not get sacked, not once in this game at all. Not even once he was sacked. Not once. 
at all. Not even once. Because you did not bring the blitz at all. I mean, it may be some blitzing, but I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong if I see any blitzing. But, man, that your, your, your play calling has been terrible. Sorry about this, my watch. Um, but, man, I tell you, man, you need to get it together. Or, matter of fact, man, don't even bother coming back to Pittsburgh. And, and, and Matt Canada, I'm on you. You need to be, you are not selected with your play calling. Dude, it's the same kind of BS that I'm seeing. Same BS. It's just getting too old for you, man. I about had it up to here with you. Man. You got to start opening your playbook a little bit more and you still have not do it. This is ridiculous. These two coaches, they know better not bother coming back to Pittsburgh. Stay in Buffalo. Don't even bother coming back to the south side, man. Man, and Daryl Young, if you watch, you're gonna watch, if you're watching this video, man, you need to get these two coaches a reality check. They need a reality check. So I'm sick of this. Just the same old things I'm seeing all season. Man, so I, I that's and then that's all I, I, I gotta say. Hey, Bill fans and Bills Mafia, shout out to y'all! Congratulations on y'all win! Shout out to y'all! And good luck in the rest of y'all season. Still a nation, we gotta go back to the drawing board. It's back to the lab. We all need recovery from this. We all need recover need recovery time for this kind of madness. So, still a nation. Don't even bother watching um, Good Morning Football tomorrow. Don't even watch bother watching Monday Night Countdown. Don't even bother. Uh, yeah, don't even bother watching Good Night Good Morning Football on NFL Network. And do not watch any post game. Don't even watch none of that stuff. If I see a post game, I am turning the channel. And if, and if still and the still fans are over on um, West, they are in Western Pennsylvania, where we're, we're in Beaver County, Allegheny, Westmoreland, Washington County, any county in Southwestern Pennsylvania, don't listen to ninety three foot seven the fan, and don't listen to uh, the sports showdown that's, that's coming up tonight, and don't listen to the nightly sports call. Don't listen to any of that stuff. Stay away from that stuff if you have to. So, so I'm not watching none of that stuff tonight. So, and then why, I'm sorry, still, it's my watch. And why did Mike Ch Tommy not challenge the George Pickett's catch? That was a catch to me. Why did he not challenge that? But that's beyond me. That is straight up beyond me. That is straight up beyond me. So, that's all I got to say. And the, and the King Pickett um, per, per, um, late hit was not called. How is that not called? How in the world is that not called? Because former, because other former Panthers, don't worry him, I believe, hit him late. And then James Daniels, if it was him, wave him to stand, wave for standing for your quarterback. Wave to protect your quarterback. Yeah, we got that personal foul call. Even though the personal foul should have been called on, on, on him on that hit on King Pickett. But wait for him to stand up for, stand up for the, stand up for the, um, that madness. So, yeah. And still, this this kind of, this might remind me of the 2016 season. We lost to Philadelphia. This, this goes back to the Philadelphia Eagles game in 2016. When we, when we had just three points, you know, when we just had three points in, 20, in that game, in 2016. Goes back to the Philadelphia Eagles game. Kind of remember, this could, this could remind me of the 2016 2016 season, we won a four-game winning streak, and then the next game, we started up an incredible winning streak. Hey, you may never know, man. You never know what you never know, man, because you never know this could, this kind of stuff could happen. This could happen, you know. It might happen, you know. Because after the um, four-game 
losing streak we had in 2016. We on, we on the um, incredible um, like seven game win streak or eight game win streak, whatever it is. And then we got, went two like two playoff games, and then we, until we um until the AFC Championship game when we lost. So yeah, could be could be a 2016 vibe vibes all over again. Could be that man. It could be that. So we'll see. So that's all I got, that's all I have to say. So again, Bills Bills fans, Bills Mafia, shout out to y'all. Congratulations on your win. Good luck the rest of y'all season. So, yeah, still nation. If we make this team again in the playoffs, if we get to the playoffs, if we make this team again in the playoffs, man, it'll be a different outcome. It'll be a totally different outcome. Because next time around, it's going to be totally different. It's going to be different. I tell you that. If we made it in the playoffs. So, so that's all That's all I got to say for this video. I think it's going a little bit too long. So, this is Jordan Steele 88 coming at you with another video as the Steelers got destroyed by the Bills 38-3. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all guys in the next video. And as always, here we go, Steelers. Here we go.